planning on joining you guys in Canada. Come, come. That's why I'm making this video so that you guys can come. So many people have been duped based on the one to jackpot. Have you considered becoming an immigration agent for Canada? I'm trying to figure this out. welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new vlog if you're new here you're welcome if you're an oldie thank you so much for coming back my name is Neka Izanya and I upload immigration and lifestyle content right here on my channel and yeah you're welcome and I hope you enjoy today's video okay so today we're doing a vlog star Q&A kinda so I asked you guys on my community tab on YouTube and I also asked you guys on Instagram to send me questions because I've been getting so many questions so many immigration related questions right here on YouTube and I noticed that it's really really difficult to keep up with the questions sometimes and sometimes I, I might miss some questions so I decided to just dedicate a video to be answering you guys questions concerning immigration dilemmas and all so that's what we're going to be doing today it is currently 2 30 p.m. right now and today is Saturday first things first you guys have to know what the day is <laughs> so I have errands to run today so I wanted to take you guys along with me and as I'm running those errands I'll just be answering you guys questions so let me just run you guys through my to-do list for today I have to go to Best Buy this camera I'm using to shoot this content right now is like almost dead it's almost gone there's something wrong with the camera it keeps on acting up and the screen the flip-up screen is like breaking so i don't think i'll buy one today i'll just inquire and know if they will have any sale anytime soon and also figure out the kind of camera i want to get as well because i have different options i don't know which one to get yet but i'm really focusing on the sony zv1 because it's a new camera and people have been raving about it so that's the first thing i have to do today and i need to go to bath and body works the body spray i use for work because where i work is a no scent environment so you're not meant to have any perfume on or any very triggering or powerful scent on so there's one bath and body works body spray i use which is very light it's not so harsh i just use that when i'm going to work because i can't i can't just go to work without putting something on so i just put very little and it really helps and it fades away quick right so it's not really powerful like that so i need to get that because that is almost done then also i'm going to have drinks with marina and venny so we're just going to have drinks together and just catch up that's just my to-do list for today okay so let's get going um i want to go get something to drink because i'm going to be talking a lot guys so i just got here at starbucks but the line is really long so i'm just going to answer some questions while i wait first question is from ashley she said how old are you and also this is a question where you really inspire me with your fashion senses love you lots i oh, love you too ashley thank you thank you so much i am 25 years old i'm going to be 26 next month so yeah the next question is hey girl love you love you <laughs> have you considered becoming an immigration agent for canada i think it's a very lucrative creative job i can't be an agent because of so many reasons okay let me not say so many reasons but because of three main reasons the first one is i don't even have time for it i already have like a nine to five and i do youtube on the side and also do makeup on the side as well i don't just have time for it to be honest and the second reason is if i'm going to be an agent if people are going to pay you for a service you're rendering right that means a certain amount of your time is going to be allocated to people right and i don't think i am at that phase where i'm ready to just let people come into my space at any given time and you know with being an agent here yeah, finances come into play and i really don't like having financial disputes with people that is one thing i really really hate i don't like finances to be an issue between me and someone i'm the kind of person that might even chicken out if i have a financial dispute with someone i'll just give you the money and just tell you go with it i don't want any issue with that and i feel like if i become an agent that might at some point arise do you understand so no i, I don't want to do that so yeah so the next question is hi neka i'm a new subscriber you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome and i hope you're enjoying the content and i love all your videos everything about them are just so inspiring oh, thank you thank you so much my question is this what is the credentials of a healthcare assistant at the end of postgrad or a certificate and is there a difference between the two i'm trying to understand your question but healthcare assistant the one i took is a postgraduate program and when you're done with it you're going to get a 
credential you're going to get a certificate afterwards oh, i hope i answered your question yeah what can i get started for you um can i have the brown sugar oat milk shaking espresso yes ma'am yeah thank you the next question is first two months in canada oh welcome welcome sis how did you feel my first two months in canada was really overwhelming to say the least it was really overwhelming why because i came at the peak of winter so it was really cold for me and the second reason is i was i was trying to transition and i had to transition really quick because immediately i came into my city the next few days i started school so it was a huge transition for me and i was trying to make everything work and balance everything so it was it was hard but you know we're stronger than we think we are you get what i mean right but yeah i overcame it and it was good so there you go. thank you can i get a straw as oh, well sure. have a great day thank you yeah you too okay let's go okay guys so i just got to best buy now so i just want to answer some questions before i leave my car next question is what's the downside of shooting the kinds of videos you upload on youtube um the downside for me i think number one is the entitlement people start to think they have on social media in general because youtube is obviously from social media and the second thing is um hmm i'm trying to figure this out i also noticed that we my growth also comes hate as well i can remember before when i i used to have like thousand subscribers two thousand subscribers the amount of hate i never used to even get hate at all i always used to just get love from people that really cared about my content i mean i've not grown so so much but my growth is progressive right i think it was yesterday i went grocery shopping with my friend and i got a notification on youtube and someone said your voice makes me cringe i saw it i'm like oh my god <laughs> I showed my friend and we started laughing and we laughed about it. I deleted the comment and I blocked the person and I moved on. Sometimes I don't delete comments, hate comments. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just leave it to be. And one of you guys would just automatically just give it to the person for me, which is so cool. <laughs> I think like with social media, you have to start growing that tough skin. So that's just one downside to it. You just have to start growing tough skin. You have to. There's no way. If not, you're gonna get a mental mental breakdown. All right, now let's get into Best Buy and make some inquiries, and I'll come back and go to the mall. This is the Sony ZV1, guys. This is the Canon G7X. But oh, this one feels way smaller than this one. But the price difference is huge. The price difference is like $300. See what I can do for you. Okay. Maybe everything's like, I don't think it's like, I don't know if I can do 1,049, but I'm going to get it to Because the, the camera itself is 950, and this guy is 200. Okay. So I can see if I can do 1,100 maybe. I'm not ready to purchase anything yet, so I'll come back when I'm ready. But at least I know that that's the price I'm going to save for. All right, let's go. hi guys okay so i just got back from best buy this mask has ruined my makeup but that's okay that's all right i just changed the direction of my car so that you guys could see me properly at this point i just feel like i should change the kind of mask i wear so i need to buy a very nice silky mask that will not be so hard on my skin whenever i put makeup on so that's like the final conclusion i have with this mask and makeup relationship i just figured out that these questions are actually a lot and i don't know if i'll be able to answer everything but god please help me i'll try to answer as much as i can so i'll answer like two questions or three questions now before i move so i realized that i'm getting so many questions regarding school recommendations and all i can't really answer questions like that because i don't know so many schools and the course you might want to take i can't really give you a recommendation with schools because i don't know every single school and i don't know every course they take right you just have to do your own research so yeah every question that i got about school recommendation i'm really sorry guys but i can't really give you an answer on that i just wanted to put that out now so that it doesn't seem like as if i'm ignoring anybody's question 
but yeah this question is hi Nika, how were you able to migrate into canada um i came into canada as a student so i studied for two years and i was eligible for the three years work permit so yeah that's the means i used to migrate into canada and the next question is from tolani she says hi Nika, i want to ask what school did you do your postgraduate course i did my postgraduate programs in confederation college thunder bay also the third class graduates stand a chance to apply to colleges in canada and like i mentioned in my differences between universities and colleges in canada colleges don't really care about your grades compared to universities but in this case i just feel like it depends on the college most colleges would actually accept you so i would actually advise just go to the exact college you want to apply for check if you meet the requirements then you can just apply so don't really be worried about if you have a first class second class or third class just check the college website you want to apply for if you meet their requirements then just apply and if they need any extra credentials or any extra documents from you they will definitely reach out to you but yeah most colleges don't really care about your grade so don't worry about it if we're talking about university then then i would kind of understand some universities are just too extra but colleges they don't care the next question is i'm planning on joining you guys in canada come 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 that's why i'm making this video so that you guys can come <laughs> i'm planning on joining you guys in canada i want to do my master's or postgraduate course you keep inspiring me to apply for school myself i was first using an educational consultant though for free but don't know the future implications do you suggest i should still consult them or look for the school myself there are pros and there are cons to be to having a good agent emphasis on the good agent right okay one thing you guys have to know is for me personally um i use an agent right but you can do it yourself and i feel one thing with agency is you have to be very very smart so that you don't get duped and our advice use word of mouth a lot in terms of finding an agent a real authentic agent that will help you with your immigration process because most of these agents i will not even lie they just want to eat your money so you have to use word of mouth and like use their reviews like people that you know personally that have gone through them before you can just drop a huge amount of money in someone's account that you're not sure if he's going to help you through this process so many people have been duped based on they want to jackpot based on they want to leave nigeria based on they don't want to leave their country and come into canada right the second part of this question that you asked concerning do i think you should use an agent or not i mean it just depends on you like everyone is different right if you have enough money to spend on hiring an agent why not just spend that extra cash but also know that it's not guaranteed like there's so much an agent can do for you the rest is just god's grace trust me the agents they are not the visa officers they're not the ones that give you the visa i know sometimes your yeah, agents have um connection they know people that know people that know people so the advantages of having an agent and there are also disadvantages too there's no yes and there's no no answer to this question so you just have to think about it know where you stand and just do what works for you if that makes sense so yeah that's my two cents on that yeah i'm going to the mall now to get my body spray i told you guys about for work so let's go there okay so i just got back from the mall let me show you guys what i got i got the body spray this is the one i use for work then they were doing like buy one candle get one free this is the first one i got it's called pumpkin sneaker doodle and this is the second one it's called pumpkin pecan waffles and they smell amazing mm, very nice calling me hey girl is that okay? okay bye so yeah that's just what i got from the mall so let's ask her some questions before i go to the restaurant hello neka you look beautiful thank you i've been enjoying your videos you talked about airbnb in one of your videos please how can one go about it as an international student coming from nigeria you don't have to do anything for an airbnb you just go online 
book for the days you want to book i think you have to pay a deposit for an airbnb you would need like a credit card and a debit card but i also think they take paper as well i'm not sure about that so you can just use either a credit card or a debit card to pay for your airbnb so the next question is how old were you when you moved to canada i moved into canada 2018 so i was 22 years when i moved into canada and the second question is what school did you go to in canada i've already answered that already oh, and someone even answered she went to confederation college oh in yeah and chama thank you girl i hope i'm pronouncing your name well thank you what's the name of the phone you used to take this picture okay i'll leave the picture here she's talking about iphone x iphone 10 and with the age i'm at right now changing my phone changing my gadgets is not even part of the plan <laughs> at all okay so let's go to the restaurant now girls cars girl <laughs> bye hey guys so i just got home right now and i wanted to answer some questions before i end this vlog so the next question is hey girl love you love you too boo love you you mentioned something about stacking up for a goal in your previous vlog okay <laughs> do you mind sharing one of my financial goals this year is just to work on my credit score which is very very important here in Canada yeah that's just what I can say <laughs> about that question okay okay someone asks I have a bachelor's degree in biochemistry can I do a two or three years nursing program in a college and someone already answered this question Elizabeth thank you so much I'll just add to what she said in your case right now you would have to do like a pre-health course or a pre-science course before you can fully get into the nursing program but that's depending on the requirements from the college but most times before you can get into a nursing program you need to have like a pre-science or pre-health course if you don't have a nursing degree and I also want to say thank you guys so much for the compliments okay guys so we've come to the end of this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed it just in case you have extra questions leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as possible and in case I miss your question please don't be offended <laughs> I try to get to as much question as I could thank you guys so much for watching we hit 5k subscribers I think about a week ago you guys I'm so happy as in I mentioned in my community tab that hitting 5k and getting monetized was my goal for YouTube this year and it's not even the end of the year I've already hit it so I'm really excited about that I'm so grateful to God like I don't give my hundred to creating content on YouTube because I have other commitments right but I don't know you guys still keep on showing up and my growth is you know progressive and I'm so grateful cheers to more wins guys cheers to more wins cheers to more victories and yeah cheers to 10k subscribers I can see it already so I have to speak it for please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the post notification so they can get notified every single time your girl uploads a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye guys bye